Beyonce album. Listen. I wish I could articulate my thoughts and feelings about Beyonce's album a bit more. Um, I've already heard the album, by the way. I, I hope I hope y'all know that, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you thought I hadn't heard it. But I, I listened to it. And it was Friday. And, you know, uh, that's just the facts. You know, I, I got curious. I don't know what happened. I don't know why I decided to listen to it at that time. I felt I think I had time at that moment to listen to the whole album in its entirety. And I was like, all right, let's just let's get this out the way. Let me see what it sounded like. Y'all know that I wasn't a huge fan of the first Renaissance. Um, and while I did enjoy a couple of the tracks on it, I think I might be wrong. Don't don't shoot me. Beehive, whoever you are, wherever you're at. Um, I, I, I don't know if the song name is called Alien. Am I wrong? Am I right? Or am I wrong? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't listen to the album like that no more. Okay, chill. When I heard that Alien Superstar, there you go. That was one of my favorite tracks on there. So beyond that, I was like, wow, I understand. I get it. There was a certain energy that I was getting from the Renaissance album. I don't want to go over it again, even though I did get a little bit of uh, attack verbally. You know what I'm saying about my, my, my position on the first Beyonce album. I'm, I'm, I'm standing on that. And this time around, I heard she was dropping a country album, and I was like, damn, her voice is perfectly suited for some string instruments, for some guitar, for for some southern aesthetics. You know what I'm saying? She's from Texas as well. She's from the south. It makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear what this sounds like. First thing I heard was uh, Texas Hold'em. And I was like, Beyonce, be honest with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Beyonce, be honest. You know, like, was that was that a good one? All right, wasn't. All right, my fault. I heard that and I was like, nah, bro, like that's not it. It was a, it was a it was a weak song, um, horribly you know written lyrics and shit like that. I didn't need the song like that to be honest. You know, that was just my perspective on the track. But I still had faith that Beyonce on a country album would sound amazing. Sixteen carriages come out, and I'm sold. Sixteen carriages come out, and I'm sold. She got it. That's perfect. She's got this emotional backstory that she's telling. You know what I'm saying? She has this like southern, not really damsel, but like southern charm to her. She can like it's it's like a backpack ass track that she comes out of nowhere with talking about her origin story. And it's just so beautifully sung. It's arranged perfectly. Just it, it's it's just great. You're saying tread lightly from this point forward. I'm not I'm no longer being disrespectful from this point forward. I promise you it's nothing but positivity from this point forward. Right, releasing those two tracks right next to each other, I feel like is really weird because it's one of the weakest tracks off the album with one of the strongest tracks on the album on the same day. Don't know why she did it like that, but I still love the fact that I got 16 Carriages, one of the best songs on the record. And that's kind of the theme with a lot of this album, in my opinion. Um, it's a lot of random kind of placements where songs feel like they're maybe oddly placed, but the ones that hit are really, really enjoyable, are really, really fun, are really, really deeply rooted in, in Southern charm and Southern aesthetics. Um, they have really decent features. You know what I'm saying? The Miley Cyrus feature with uh, Beyonce on Just For Fun, or I'm sorry, is on, on uh, Most Wanted, I think is incredible. Not because of i guess the feature or anything like that but it's like the moment that she manages to create and no matter what i'm not trying to create competition or like this division between the artists or anything like that but whenever beyonce has to do like a duet or like a collab when it's another singer kind of on the same song her voice acts like a foothold or like a support for the other singer like she's just so much more dominant than everybody else on the song i don't know why that is i mean i do kind of know um it's a difference in vocal range and like i guess capabilities but it works to kind of cushion any potential pitfalls that they might have i feel like they feel safe when they're singing with beyonce i don't know why that happens but on every song where there's a a, a contribution or a feature she's like the, the 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 foundation of the whole song she's never outshined ever ever outshined it never happens um and that's a beautiful part about an album that emphasizes you know what i'm saying uh country music aesthetics so much and i say aesthetics a lot more because a lot of the album kind of plays to what we know from country music already i don't think much of it is very innovative or as innovative as some of the material that you might have heard off renaissance you know what i'm saying 
Um, but still, I enjoyed this one so much more. I had so much more fun listening to this one. I just thought it was a much better time. Daughter is a great song. Let me play it. Daughter is a ma her voice on daughter is chef's kid. This is all I wanted from the whole album. Be <laughs> honest. When I heard daughter, I was like, oh shit. Like she really like I I I I believe the hype. Like I get it. Like I'm not a Beehive member or nothing like that, but like I might you know, I gotta take a knee. If I ever am in Beyonce's presence, I have to take a knee. Ones. I don't fellowship with these fake ones, so let's travel to- I ain't never heard a singer transform into a into a goddess and then revert back to her human form on the same track before. Like, I just didn't hear it before. I hadn't. You know what I'm saying? I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it vocally occur. You know what I'm saying? She literally just, like, changed into different niggas, like, on the same song so effortlessly, like, easily. I had my feet swinging and everything when I was listening to this for the first time. I, when she transitioned, when she when she, when she she evolved just now, I just was like, I, am I about to die or am I about, am, I, am I about to be born? Like, which one? What, what, which one am I about to be here? Like, what, what happens after this? I don't know. It's like being it's like being like taken into the unknown like where am i going y'all keep asking me about bodyguard and why you don't see bodyguard so sweet I oh this is why this is why it's not downloaded you know i feel like this is again one of those tracks where and it's not that you're like you're not doing nothing wrong for liking it obviously but like this is the same commonality that people have when it comes to like jack harlow and he likes dips his toes into rap. Not saying that Beyonce is like that. I'm not saying that you could like apply like this vulture mentality to her, but like I hear something that he might do and I'm like, what the fuck is it's like basic as fuck. Like I'm not gonna go crazy over it. It's the same way with Bodyguard. Like it's a poppy country song, quote unquote, and I don't need to go rave about it because I've heard the style before. It's not innovative. It doesn't really utilize her strengths, her core strengths, in my opinion, which I think are which I think is her voice. Um, and so I don't really I don't get nothing out of it, you know, and it's funny. Texas Hold'em comes right before it. I feel the same way about that one. It's just like a non country fans like for this particular track. Like, I feel like if Beyonce wasn't making that song, you you might not feel that same way about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's just me though. I'm not telling you that's how you feel, but I don't have any other reasons to like this song because it doesn't do anything outside of the average poppy country track that has the same kind of vibe. I think another favorite for me was the one that I came into the stream playing, which was River Dance. I really love River Dance. I know it's a song about riding dick, I think. Um, but it's not gonna prevent me from, you know what I'm saying, saying dance on the shit dance. Like I'm just you know what I'm saying? I fuck with it still, you know? Let me chill, let me chill, let me chill. This shit just hard. It just works. It like it plays it plays such a fine line between reserved and raunchy. Like the like the like the inner thoughts of a of a of a I don't mean it to be weird. I'm just saying like the thoughts of like a uh, a reserved girl you know what i'm saying like it just it plays such a fine line between that inner voice or that intrusive thought that might creep into the mind of a of a girl that don't really do it that often it's just it's fun i don't know it's like a good i don't know it's a good way to play on it it's a good way to express it i feel like anyway you kind of get the point like i fuck with the song heavy you know what i'm saying it's got everything that i want i have a very low standard for beyonce when it comes to this this country music endeavor that she's going on which requires basically heavy use of strings her vocally um a little bit of rhythm and that's it you know emphasize those things specifically and i'm 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 putty in your hand you know what i mean that's really what it is desert eagle was another strong track to me thought it was a little raunchy pretty sexy um it's got a nice groove to it and it's short it's sweet it gets its point across very very quickly do it's, it's it's pretty good it's too short but the fact that it plays into you know my other favorite track on the album river dance it's just like a that's a great thing right there now to the duets the collabs i actually really and i didn't expect post malone to show up or deliver in any capacity or any stretch of the word 
He did. He showed up for me on Levi's jeans. It's poppier, but they're both entertaining. And she and she carries where she needs to. He did good, right? Uh, I remember when I was listening to this the first time. I'm like, yo, he actually did his thing. Like, Post might be back. And then she came after he did to remind me that it was her song and that he just doing some shit that I allowed him to do for real, you know? And then I just got enamored with her verse again. And I was like, okay, never mind. Fuck this nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad. I'm, I'm still mad at this nigga for real. That's basically what was my what was my perspective after I heard that part. I'm like, okay, well, what did he really do? Did he really even, was he even on the song? Uh, maybe my mind is kind of dirty, but I did think my, I think I thought my Rose was like a different kind of track. I did at, the, at first, but I'm glad it wasn't to be honest and it's a short sweet cut as well you feel me i almost the first time i heard it, i was like who needs destiny's child but you know what i'm saying then i said i said wait maybe you deepen it and i, I realized that i deeped it at that point but i was still in my right mind for saying it i don't really take it back even though i do i wouldn't say it out loud in mixed company but i would but i'm not gonna stay on it you know what i'm saying like if somebody smacked the shit out of me after i said that i might let them get it off on the right day you know, because that is kind of outrageous to say something like that. I'm not trying to say that. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't trying to say that, but I said it, and I and I stand on it. But I don't. I could be not. I could be knocked off of that. It's basically what I'm trying to say. Basically, getting down to the end of the wire. Like I liked it a lot. It's the most I've enjoyed a Beyonce album in a minute. Not to say that her previous works weren't. You know what I'm saying? Enjoyable. But I'm just saying based off my preferences and what I prefer from people that I think have talented vocal abilities or talented vocalists to some degree while also you know what i'm saying having an ear musically this is kind of really what i wanted and especially as someone who got really really deep into uh his uh country and folk bag um during covid you know i would love for more people to explore a sound that relies heavily on you know what i'm saying uh, string instruments and you know what i'm saying minimalism at its core as well even though some of this album is a little too flashy or extravagant to be considered to say that i would really consider it like a serious step in this direction it's still fun it's still enjoyable uh where is that one track where she was rapping because i thought that was a funny cut bang, bang. At the snap of my fingers i'm fine expedition dummy mission in the kitchen cooking up some chickens extra leg but i ain't even trying to get too soft too soft yo so there was a part of me that was like yo this verse is absolutely garbage this is trash as shit like this who, who's listening to this but the way that she was so confident in delivering that garbage was just like god damn bro i gotta respect it like i just enjoyed it it was it was it was passionately and powerfully delivered trash you know what i'm saying it, it was like the equivalent to the to the garbage man knocking on your door to let you know yo i just picked up all that shit in your front porch bro and i and and, and i put the garbage bin on the side of the house for you bro like you good on this side i got you gang that's what it was to me and um it kind of turned into some like you know some 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 like empowerment shit near the end of the verse that i thought was cool but it has so many other elements than just the rap and when i heard a snippet of this on twitter before the album had came out i'm like oh no nah, this is gonna be bad like this is terrible the song not gonna be good but the song itself was still good at its core outside of the verse you know what i mean she went crazy anyway it's the presentation like some people don't understand that bro like the presentation is sometimes more important than the product not to say that the product not so important had the product been amazing in the first leg of this track would have been a better song overall but the presentation of it just made it that much sweeter just it just allows for me to overlook certain things to highlight you know what i'm saying okay well this is where you're actually excelling and that's where it's enjoyable that's why i still will play spaghetti that's why it's still a fun a fun track a fun cut wait what was yaya about though why don't i have yaya downloaded what didn't i like about this song that's why i didn't like it never mind i don't even have to i don't even gotta go forward Dog, 
God damn. Gotta channel her inner prince on that one. My whole body just feels drained. That's that climactic, anthemic intro music that's just such a necessity. You gotta open strong, and she opened so, so strong right there, man. I can't move my arm. It's my left arm specifically. I can't lift it. I'm trying my best. It's just not happening. I very much so enjoyed this album. Um, and while there were parts of it that, you know, left, uh, left, left, we're kind of left to be desired, you know? Um, and I do think she could have explored a bit further when it comes to the whole, you know, country aesthetic and the sound in general. Um, I still think it was a strong effort vocally and it's not to be forgotten easily. You know what I'm saying? Um, generally the expectation of the bar for when artists go or veer off into other genres of music or other aesthetics is pretty low. And so I do think it's more than adequate, uh, for an entry for Beyonce, um, with, with room to be, uh, improved upon in the future. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely something that she should look more into and rock wouldn't be a far cry for her next album. I don't think at all. So as far as I'm concerned, just keep going with it because this is um, a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. Not to make any like weirdo competition, but like if Solange had decided to throw her hat into this aesthetic, we would we definitely would have gotten a lot more layered. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot more innovative, you know what I'm saying, uh, tracks. But that's just how I go, you know what I'm saying? Solange is very unique in that. So I'm waiting on her next album as well. 